Canna has been used for hundreds and possibly thousands of years, but our ability to know its history is limited by a lack of records. An early potential account came from Jan van Riebeek, a Dutch colonial administrator in South Africa in 1662. Around this time, there were reports of the Khoi pastoral people and sand hunter-gatherers using Canna for many reasons. It is said the Khoi would become happy and high doses could make them unconscious or delirious. They would normally chew it, smoke it, or make tinctures. One account stated, their animal spirits were awakened, their eyes sparkled, and their faces manifested laughter and gaiety. Thousands of delightsome ideas appeared, and a pleasant jollity which enabled them to be amused by simple jests. By taking the substance to excess, they lost consciousness and fell into a terrible delirium. When we hear about delirium, we can assume the Europeans had a lot of misconceptions about canna. For example, there's another report stating, tis something like the European mandragora, but much less. It resembles the mandragora pretty nearly in its effects too. Mandrake truly can provide delirium, yet we know that's not something connected with canna. So, they either exaggerated the effects, were recording the effects of canna plus another drug, or were actually seeing people on something else entirely. A more reliable account comes from Simon van der Steel, the Dutch governor of the Cape Colony in 1685. He said the drug made people cheerful and it was used like the areca nut, which is a relatively mild stimulant. It was used all throughout the day and was also a commonly traded product. During a journey in 1773, Swedish naturalist Carl Peter Thunberg talked about how the Hottentots used canna. Hottentot is an old term for the koi that's no longer used. According to Thunberg, the koi would receive the most psychoactive effects from canna when using it right after fermentation. They would normally chew the plant and they would also exchange the drug for a variety of items. European settlers used it for its psychoactive properties and for medicinal reasons, such as to alleviate stomach pain.